What up, y'all? It's your boy Euphoria from Enter Euphoria, and today I'm coming back with you with another Let's Talk About video. Again, I appreciate all the feedback, all the support. I can see it in the analytics. You guys are loving it. I'm going to continue to give it. Let's talk about J-Hope's album, Jack in the Box. And I love to talk about this for many reasons. First of all, I am absolutely excited. Of course, we're all excited, but I'm genuinely excited because I'm going to tell you the number one reason why I'm excited. Um, it's because I can recall an Instagram story post he posted up, I don't know how many months ago, um, where he was in a studio, obviously working on music. BTS is always working on music. But I remember he said something to the tone of um, something like, working on new music this time is darker or working on new music uh they're not ready for the dark side or something like that something like that and it, you can pick any one of my reaction videos and you will hear me say at least three times in one video i love like dark music i love bts dark music not depressingly dark but i love how bts do it it's really deep it's really emotional like for example um shadow you know obviously that's a uh, yongi solo but it's just that dark that oh uh, it just touches you it just grabs you it just rips your heart out and just uh just just really captivate you another one is uh let me know Girl, let me know. Girl, let me know. From the album, Dark and Wild. It's just dark, but just beautiful. You know what I'm saying? It's not bright. It's just so emotional. It's that perfect level. It's just, anyway, I could go all day first love. I talk about this type of shit. Literally, damn near every BTS video I do. They are my favorite songs for a reason. Um, But so, you know, just to see a darker side of J-Hope. And that's why I specifically remember that post is because I always look at people on a very natural human level. I always try to see the human being that's in somebody. And I remember seeing that post because J-Hope is obviously J-Hope. He's like the happy ambassador of the entire group. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm your hope. You're my hope. I'm J-Hope. That's literally how he introduces himself. Uh, to American audiences and so on. So, you know, he's the bright one. You know, he's the charismatic one. So I remember seeing that post thinking, damn, you know, it's just interesting. This guy is human too. He has a dark side of him too. So I'm extremely excited to see that shit. Just to get a taste of, okay, what's the dark side of J-Hope really about? I know it's going to be beautiful. Extremely excited about it for that. Another reason why I'm excited for this is the title the title is very interesting y'all have heard me say in many of my videos um and of course man if you feeling it man drop some likes drop some comments if this is your second or third video watching of me just go ahead and subscribe i give you a pass on the first one but if it's like your second or third just just go ahead and subscribe man yeah 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 you know you're killing me you're killing me but i appreciate the support seriously genuinely um but i'm also excited because the name jack in the box is extremely interesting and i see this two ways um and these are just my 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 predictions my forecasting I may be I may be right I may be wrong but to be honest with you um history uh has favored my predictions to be very 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 accurate so the name jack in the box one um uh, to me it kind of says he wants to pop out this box this stigma of uh of 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 what people think of when they think of bts and i'm gonna tell you what i mean about that this is how all of my conversations go whenever anytime at any point i mention i love bts i listen to bts or somebody will make a post and be like yeah you know anybody got any music they could recommend this is how all those conversations go is yeah anybody got some music they could recommend i would literally just say bts if it clicks, it clicks and thank me later. That's literally all I say. I don't get into this old, ah, they would literally respond and say, 
You mean the boy band from Korea? That's literally what they say. I just say yes in bold letters, exclamation point. Again, I don't get into this whole, ah, they're freaking awesome. That I don't get into all that shit. That's how that goes. Anytime I'm in a normal conversation with someone and however, whenever it comes up, because I genuinely like, love, and appreciate BTS, you know what I'm saying? I say something to the tone of, yeah, man, you know, like right now, one of my, you know, I would say something like, yeah, you know, I'm very open-minded. Like, for example, right now, literally, literally my favorite group and some of my favorite artists on the entire planet right now is BTS. They would literally say, who, the boy band from Korea? They literally say that every time, and I say yes. In fact, it kind of throws people off. I don't want to really say too much about myself, but I'm 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 like I'm a, I'm a very big I'm a pretty big person. You know what I'm saying? And when people see me, they just expect like with the beard and everything, they just expect the super masculine, super alpha dog god energy man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, 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 I'm creative and I like the things that I like and I'm passionate about them. When I say I like BTS, it literally, they, they literally kind of look at you differently. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you, especially even from the environments, you know, I grew up in, I'm like probably literally the only person I know that even listens to BTS. Um, just because these people just be on something else respectfully. Um, so the point that I'm making is they kind of got this stigma and I hate when people just say, oh, the boy band from Korea, because it's a it's a it's a fucked up stereotype, to be honest with you, um, because BTS is just so much more than just a boy band from Korea. In fact, I find BTS to be one of the most genuine, incredible, creative, very deep artists i found in the past freaking decade literally i know they only been out nine years but literally in the past decade they're like the deepest artists i'll give you a quick example i was just um you know doing some research on you know like how do they stay humble as they rise to success and stuff like that and i seen this one video of uh nam june's uh mantra um for that's rm for those that don't know a uh, mantra for how does he view fame and how does he view success? And yo, his answer was BTS continues to amaze me with how deep they really are. Cause you just look at them like, oh, they're kids and you know, they're a boy band from Korea. What do they know? Man, they're so deep. They're deeper than a lot of people I've ever met, a lot of artists I've ever listened to. So anyway. I feel like that name Jack in the Box is kind of implying like he want to pop out of his this box of just being a boy band from Korea. You know what I'm saying? Um, another example I could give is Justin Timberlake and NSYNC. You know what I'm saying? The brand and the artist Justin Timberlake is significantly different from the brand and the artist NSYNC. So I feel like that name Jack in the Box kind of implies that he wants to pop out of that. Um, also, another side that I think it implies to is if you didn't know who J-Hope is, okay, first of all, what rock you've been sleeping under, um, in the BTS community, there's a reason why he's called your bias is bias. Your bias is basically your favorite member, and they basically, we basically say um, BTS armies, I'm one as well, shout out armies, um, that He's your favorite member's favorite member. So if you don't know who J-Hope is, he's going to, like, again, this is just a prediction. I may be right. I may be wrong. But I feel like this is his way of saying, if you didn't know, he's going to seem to just, like, pop up out of nowhere. Because the Jack in the Box is like this box with a stick. And you crank the stick. And you never know at what point it's just going to pop out. You know what I'm saying? At you. And I kind of feel like he's really going to go big with this solo endeavor. He's really passionate about it. And he really wants to lay his flag and his stake and establish himself as an artist. Just a great artist of incredible creativity and deep and passion and still cares about it and still have the love in it. And you're going to see J-Hope, 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 J-Hope everyone. J-Hope everywhere. J-Hope number one. You already see him at Lollapalooza coming up. J-Hope, J-Hope, J-Hope. And if you didn't know better, 
to you, it's going to be like a jack in the box. Like he just popped out of nowhere. So anyway, that's just kind of my takes uh, on this album. I'm extremely excited for it on so many levels. I just can't even put in the words. I'm also happy to see the genuine energy and passion that's going behind their solo in endeavors i know some people are not sitting with that too well but personally i think that's only going to be a good thing because every everybody gotta 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 have your space to discover who you are and truth be told with the group and the group energy it's kind of hard to establish your own energy your own identity so i actually love that they're they're not afraid to be genuine to themselves. Once again, that's 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 an example for a lot of people right there. You know what I'm saying? They know, you know, armies, there's a huge percentage of them that doesn't want that. But at the same time, the truth is more important. The truth of you got to know who you are in this world because honestly, I don't want to get too deep into that. But this world is essentially one big jungle. Whether you realize it or not. It's one big jungle and life is just kind of this game of finding your way. It's 8 billion people in this world. Everybody can't be the same. You got to figure out what works for you and what works for you may not work for this person. What works for this person may not work for you. Anyway, I told y'all I could kick hella game and I'm going to figure out ways to do that into more videos, but I'm going to just go ahead and wrap this up. J-Hope, Jack in the Box album. Extremely excited, extremely happy. I just love this guy, man. Like, Sugar's my bias, but God, man, J-Hope is low-key my second bias. But it's OT7. I'm not going to get into trying to break them down because it's literally a fruitless battle. They all are incredible. They all deserve to be your biases. And BTS is not just a boy band from Korea. They are incredible. Great artists. It's your boy, Euphoria. Drop them likes. Drop them subs. Drop them comments. Let's keep this shit going because we going to keep it going. We going to keep the love flowing. We going to keep the energy going. And seriously, the more you like, the more you comment, the more you sub, the faster it grows and the better it gets. And I promise I'm going to continue my best to do my best. I'm not going to grow into some jackass, into some arrogant idiot. No, is this thing grow? I'm always do my best to be my best and put my best out there and have as much people grow with me. You did. That's how it is. It's euphoria, baby.